the strangest place I was ever recognized being in the Karate Kid. I was on an island of Anguilla, and as I was walking around, there were little kids doing the crane. So I couldn't understand how they knew right. that. I realized that we were kind of global at that point. The memory, the legacy of the first film, it's my first movie, my first role. It's like your first girlfriend in a way, but it just lasted forever, and it's just nonstop. So how it's impacted me has been its transition in time from you know, the first time it came out and being, wow, there's a movie out that I'm in, to, wow, a lot of people are seeing this movie, to, oh, it's getting a little much, to where the culture just kind of embraced it and it went to HBO and a whole nother generation, and then generations. And so now, this many years later, you look at it and, and see how it's impacted so many people. And so what it means to me is, I mean, all, all that. I mean, I, I'm embracing it back. We're, this is our way of embracing the fans back and, and, and kind of all coming together. Daniel LaRusso and the Karate Kid franchise, what that's meant to me. I mean, it's, it's hard to explain because it's evolved over 34, 35 years. Um, who knew when we did this film that it would have touched this many people on an entertainment level, on a personal level, on a human level. And uh, it has, and it's only grown in its relevance over time, which is just fascinating to me. Uh, the character is a piece of uh, American pop culture. He was an inspirational, kid next door who had no business winning anything and I think that's why so many people sort of gravitated and felt the wish fulfillment or the aspirational elements of a character to overcome those kind of obstacles. It's become the fans movie and now with Cobra Kai it's hopefully will be the fans series. It is made for the people who love that film and not only is all the pop culture exciting about it, all the sweep the leg and get him a body bag and all that stuff that's become relevant, but it's also about the, the human element of why the film worked as a story and why it continues to work and hopefully will continue to work uh, for a long, long time. The characters have somehow grown up with people. I mean, they were 10, 8 years old, and it's almost like you feel like we really know Johnny and Daniel. So this show is really fun to bring back. It's like bumping into somebody you knew in high school, but seeing where they're at, what they're about. But it's today, and it's with a whole new generation of kids. And, in this tone. They march on, Daniel and Johnny. Yep, they, they do, they do. It's exciting, it's very, very, very exciting. exciting.